I'm an addict for snitches. What's good? What's good? Back up to the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Addict Show. Just checking in to see what everyone's opinion is on the new upcoming LeBron 12 Elite model that will be releasing soon. As far as my opinion, I don't know how I feel about this new look, them removing the posit on the side panel for your support now. They switched it up, as you can see here. And as far as the actual look of the shoe, it just looks strange without a swoosh at all on the side panel. I did not like how the swoosh was so low on the shoe. And I was saying this for months, how it just needed to be remodeled and have the swoosh a little higher up and it would be fine. And instead, we're seeing them totally remodeling but just taking the swoosh completely off. Some are going to like this because of the fact that there's not as much branding. Some are definitely not going to dig the fact that there's no swoosh on the side. Curious to see what everyone's opinion is. Because some do not like branding so much all over a product. Some love it. They want branding everywhere. And in my opinion, I think that I gotta just let this sit for a little bit and absorb how this looks and then get back to you guys on my full opinion on this. I actually, if you haven't seen my unboxing video, I did a Nike ID and I literally made the swoosh the same color as the posit just to kind of hide the swoosh from looking so low to the actual outsole on my Bruce Lee Nike IDs. I did a home and away colorway and I haven't even shown the other colorway yet, which I will really soon. I didn't even do a full detailed review on the Bruce Lee that I already unboxed for you guys. I should definitely do that. I've been totally thrown off lately because I've been reviewing so many shoes and doing so many episodes now that a lot of sneaker news is getting out there. And I know a lot of people like actually listening to it through YouTube versus reading. Uh, I have the blog and I always post information on my blog, but I do have a lot of people that request this kind of material on YouTube. So that's why I've been doing this a lot more lately. And that's fine. As long as you guys are watching, I don't mind doing this. I love to entertain you guys. Love to give you guys that sneaker news at the same time, either or. So just let me know that you're enjoying the videos. Hitting that like button and I will continue to do so, definitely. But I think that this shoe, the problem, of th the problem with this model isn't going to be the look, but the price point. I'm sure it's going to be a ridiculous price. We'll see. I have no clue about the price of the models, but I do have some of the dates to some of the releases like this red colorway, the team colorway. This will release on 418. And then there's an elevate colorway that will release on 515, which kind of has like a China look to it. It reminds me of the China 9s as far as the actual color combination. I like this colorway a lot. And then you also have a rose gold colorway. Just has hits of rose gold throughout the shoe, but basically is a bread colorway, black and red. It's a nice colorway. I mean, you know, black and red is always going to be a winner in my book. And these will release on 6-5. Dates do change, so keep that in mind. Always go to the blog daily, thesneakerratic.com. That's my blog for you, the people. Definitely go to the blog morning, noon, and night like clockwork. Also, don't forget to follow my Twitter. Whenever I find out about releases, restocks, I post it immediately on my Twitter. There was a bunch of restocks today, some Jordan restocks. I always post on my Twitter. So if you're not following my Twitter over at The Sneak Addict, you're missing out. If you're following my DJ Dell's Twitter, I do tweet about sneakers, but not always about restocks. Definitely follow the Sneak Addict. That's 100% sneakers. DJ Dells, that Twitter, that's my personal Twitter where you're going to get more of a personal vibe with me if I'm watching a game or, you know, if I want to rant about something or if I want to talk about music. Anything else will be on my DJ Dells Twitter. So keep that in mind. Done a ton of new reviews. The new Adidas Ultra Boost. Very happy with the shoe. Watch the review. I think you're going to want to check that out. I show them on feet. Look in the description box for that. 
the Marvin the Martian 7s. I did a great comparison video with the original 1999 Oreos and the 2015 Oreo shoe. You gotta watch that episode, it's really, really good. You're gonna really see the difference between both of them, if there is even a difference. Definitely watch that episode and much more. I did a 40 minute podcast, matter of fact, I gotta speak about that. A lot of people want longer podcasts, so I did a 40 minute podcast. Make sure to check that out. I talk about a lot of stuff that's going on in the sneaker world. Just check out the description box below. I'll put a bunch of different stuff. Thanks for checking out today's episode. Please participate. Let me know that you know, you're know you watching by just leaving some feedback on what you think about this shoe. Hit that like button too. Just motivates me to record these episodes for you guys, for you females that enjoy this here. Keep checking me out and I'll keep doing what I'm doing here at youtube.com forward slash the sneaker addict. Thanks again. And with that said, we out. DJ Dells, you know I love you.